let's talk about 5G. Specifically, let's talk about the great EMF exposure from 5G. It was going to expose us to a whole new part of the electromagnetic spectrum, the millimeter wave. I'm seeing a lot of millimeter wave activity at airports. Okay, this is a half a block or three houses away from that transmitter. Right up there, there's an array. Each little transmitter is called an element. Now the millimeter wave was something that we were only exposed to when we walk through an airline scanner and we really don't have a lot of information on the specific health effects of being exposed to something so high up the frequency spectrum. But now today, at least we can find out from a consumer point of view where that EMF is and how much we're exposed to. There's the new Safe and Sound Broadband RF EMF meter. Now you can have one of these and I'm so excited about it. I'm gonna take you on a tour and I'm gonna show you the various levels that I found and I'm gonna show you where I found them and how I found them because it's important for you to know if you're being exposed to the millimeter wave. Lots of our cell phones have them in now. They're on many different street corners. They could be near your child's school. And now, you know what the big deal about this is? In addition to all of the regular radio frequencies that we've been talking about, the ones that come from 4G and LTE communications, the one that comes from Wi-Fi, well now we're layering on this millimeter wave exposure. This is measuring radio frequencies and I want you to remember that this isn't going away. We're still being exposed to the lower end of the spectrum. We're still being exposed to Wi-Fi EMF and cell phone EMF, smart meter EMF and EMF from the Nest and any other wireless item you have in your home. And this just layers on. So think about it. It's like the whole room is filled with smoke from the RF and it's worse outside by the way. And now we're adding on another layer, another kind of smoke. So the smoke is so thick from cigarette smoke and now we're introducing cigar smoke on top of it. So as you look at these readings and you say, ah, that was only high instead of extreme, keep in mind that we're already base level being exposed to high, moderate, extreme levels of the lower end of the spectrum. I'm seeing a lot of millimeter wave activity at airports, not necessarily in airports, but outside. And right now I'm looking at the towers and I don't see any antennas, but the meter tells me that there's something here somewhere. If I find it, I will show you what they look like. Okay, so first you see that we've got Wi-Fi off, Bluetooth off, we're gonna look at cellular settings. We're gonna make sure that we are gonna use 5G. So allow more data through 5G, yes. And then also voice and data. Instead of LTE, we're gonna go 5G on. Ready? And let's see what happens when I download a video or something fun like that. Maybe go on Instagram for a second. See if it can access. Oh yeah, it did, look at that. That's because this phone is accessing that millimeter wave antenna. So once someone accesses it, and so you saw it coming from the phone, but I want to come over here because even though this phone over here is activating it, anything in between is getting exposed. So that's the crazy part. You might not be using the millimeter wave antenna, but if someone is, then you're being exposed. And remember, think of the cell phone radiation like cigarette smoke. That's how I like to explain it. It comes off the antenna from any device. It spreads through the room and then as it distances, it dissipates and you're not exposed to as much. So that's a positive part. Proximity is very important when it comes to any electromagnetic field. But with this, we have to remember this is a new type of wave. This isn't the same as waves under 10 gigahertz. This is 24 to possibly 40 gigahertz. And that means instead of like cigarette smoke, think of it as just another layer of EMF. So it's another layer. It's cigarette smoke and cigar smoke in the same room, but you can't see it or smell it or touch it. But believe me, you're walking right through it. And this is a problem. If you have a meter, you'll know where it is and you'll know if there is an antenna in front of your home, you'll know if you have a device that's using a 5G antenna and you'll be able to turn it off, hopefully. But most of all, this is to let you know this isn't okay. And there's possibly things that you can do about it. This is a good time to talk to city council, to your schools, in case they have one. Because you don't want your kids exposed to two different types of EMF radiation.
the lower spectrum and the higher spectrum. The way these transmitters work is it's line of sight only, meaning you have to be able to see it. And it's right past that white car, right above it. So watch this, watch, we can walk across the street and see it. So in search of millimeter wave transmitters, we're about a block away right now. We, oh, just, that just popped up. Mm -hmm. And we just got a max reading that just popped up for a second. That means that we're getting close. So let's walk another half a block. Okay, this is a half a block or three houses away from that transmitter. Right up there, there's an array. Each little transmitter is called an element. And I want you to remember that this is going 24 seven. I don't think anyone is accessing this. Every time I've come by, and it's been about 15 times now to verify, when I get this close, we get these kinds of readings. So this is a high reading and it's constant, consistent. It doesn't change. So this is the Safe and Sound Broadband RF meter. And broadband, again, is ultra wideband, any of the spectrum that goes from 20 gigahertz to 40 gigahertz. This meter can help you find, and you can find this meter at techwellness.com. You can learn all about it and learn more about 5G in general. I'm August Bryce, be well. Hey everybody, one more thing. We're out in the world really getting a handle on where our exposures to 5G are and how we can avoid it and what we can do about it. So make sure you like and subscribe and click on that bell so you can stay up to date on the latest on 5G EMF protection.